named Perry and an armadillo named Gary. Perry was a nice, humble, intelligent truck and didn't trust animal he, animals he didn't know. However, Gary was a goofy armadillo who believed everything other animals said. One day they ran off to the hill and wanted to raise their father, but they didn't know there was a villainous snow leopard who lived in the mountain. Lewis the snow leopard was starving and failing. He was so hungry he thought that he saw two chickens in the distance, which were actually Perry and Gary on their quest up the mountain. Lewis slowly approached the two friends and said to them, Hi, I'm Lewis, a Himalayan tour guide. At the mountain peak, you can find treasure. Follow me, and together we can become the richest animals to ever live. When Gary heard Lewis's promise, he decided to go up the mountain with him. But Perry was frightened because he heard a roaring from the stomach of Lewis. He did not trust the snow leopard. Gary said to Perry, Let's go find your treasure. But Perry said, He's a snow leopard. He's a predator. He'll devour us like a fried buffalo chicken wing. How do you know? Gary protested. I know because I heard his stomach roaring like a T-Rex. Perry whispered to Gary, I don't care. If you don't trust Lewis, I'll go by myself. Gary exclaimed, Fine, Perry shouted. Gary and Lewis began climbing the mountain in search of the treasure, leaving Perry alone in the freezing icy snow. Perry wanted to check and see if Gary was safe, so he climbed a humongous giant colossal redwood tree. Lewis says it is getting frigid. Would you like to stop for some hot chocolate? I don't like hot chocolate, but do you have some coffee? Gary asked. Sure thing, chicken wing. Lewis sat sneakily slowly under his breath, letting Gary into the ambush, while Perry called the FBI, who came as swiftly as they could. He rolled on the tree and ran to the Lewis's house, where Gary was about to be trapped. Lewis poured two mugs of coffee and said, I will go get some sugar. Gary replied, Okie dokie, Artichoke. But actually, Lewis was going to get the poison sugar, which would paralyze Gary, put him to sleep, and turn him into a fried chicken. Lewis poured tons of sugar in Gary's coffee and then went to use the bathroom. Gary thought to himself, There's more coffee in Lewis's mug, and I'm so cold and thirsty. I'll just take his and give him mine. Just as Gary and Lewis sipped their first sips of deadly delight, Perry the Hedgehog shattered the door and snatched the coffee out of Gary's hand. Lewis the Snow jumped into action, leaping across the table. Suddenly, Lewis fell down onto the table, unable to move. He shrieked, ah, and fell asleep. Finally, he burst into a fried chicken. Gary said to Perry, you were right, Lewis was vicious. Let's get out of here. The mountain suddenly started to tremble because of Lewis' loud holler. So the two friends began to roll down the mountain. Harry turned his head and saw an avalanche advancing towards them. They rolled as fast as they could towards the FBI who were waiting for them at the bottom of the Himalayas. Kung Fu Panda, the captain of the FBI Special Forces Unit, questioned the two friends. What was going on? On up there, Gary and Perry explained the whole story to the FBI. Kung Fu Panda told Gary, never trust dangers because they can easily harm you.